What's in the box? In the box. What's in the huge big spotlight box? What's in the box? In the box. What's in the box? In the box. Okay, let me move the box to the side. Um, as you can see, there's no room to open it there. Hello, my angels and devils, and all who may want to hear. It is Amanda Christina. I failed at not using the $40, $40 off voucher from Spotlight. However, um, I don't think I technically failed the no spend for this. I failed it with the books, but that's a whole other story. So one of the first things I got was this pretty blue placemat, and it was like a dollar forty. And I just thought this would look nice on my table when I'm showing things off. It is Mallorca, Mallorca brand. Mallorca, I don't know, Mall, Mall Orca. <laughs> if I was sorry, been hanging around with Mary Amber too much. Um, <laughs> that's a whole other Aussie thing. Anyway, um, so I thought this would look really nice on my table just when I'm showing stuff off and that because this is a bit, you know, so and it, it's actually the, a, a perfect size for that and it's sort of plasticky so I figured it might clean off a bit easier than other things. So that was the first thing I got. Then I got this little packet of push pins that were 60 cents and this is for my um, colour bursts. No. Brushos. This is for my brushos because you only put a little pinhole in the top and I keep losing the pins. So I grabbed these because 60 cents for pins. Um, now, I do regret this, not because I don't need them, but because they have no inserts and I should have gotten the We Are Memory Keepers ones, which I sort of put back and thought, I haven't had the die cuts with the View albums. Um, these don't come with any pages in them, so just be aware of that if you buy. These were on clearance for $7, and then they came down to just over $4 each, so I grabbed three of each. I use these to store things in. Now, this isn't as huge a disaster as it feels, because I have a lot of um, 4x4 four four inserts for my sweet pea stamps. So instead of using these for the dies I was going to use them for, I will organise my sweet pea stamps into categories and fill each of these with my sweet pea stamps and put put them on the, well, the card on this one's missing, but yeah, so, and as you can tell, I use pink and black <laughs> um, folders for the most part. When I buy albums, I buy pink and black to use on my, to, as storage. So I bought six of those, which was 12 and 12. So that wasn't too bad a buy. And as you can see, I had one of my brushes, um, so I just put one on top and they sit in it a bit better than the other pins I had because they've got that little, yeah, they just, they seem to stay. So I think they'll be good for my brushes. Not that I've got many new ones lately because they're getting a bit hard to find. Now, the one thing you're not going to see in this is there's, or two, um, is four bags of these um, cellophane bags, but in, they've got a stripe top and bottom. And the reason I grabbed these, so many of these is... Um, for my Etsy store opening, these are really handy for Etsy. But also, because I've got the Fuse tool, I can cut these in half. So instead of just getting 24 bags, I'll get 48. Now, it was buy three, it was buy two, get one free. So I got four of these, four of the stripes, and one packet of um, little pink spotty umbrellas for when next year when I do my birthday in a box. So then um, the birthday in the box stuff was pretty much one of the few things I bought that and I believe me I had to put all the crafty stuff back I um the other thing I grabbed were these labels these were 120 piece printable tags and um they're meant to be for weddings and stuff but I just grabbed them because uh, they've got a really nice foil uh pearlescent border but I just thought these would be handy to have for when you want a little sentiment or something like they just looked like something you can ink them, you can miss them, you can play with them. But I thought 120 for a dollar forty wasn't bad. It was a dollar twenty, I think it was actually. Um, then Fiona Jane, this is partially your fault. Um, I do have some of this, but this came down to two dollars eighty nine for five meters. Uh, it is iron on interfacing. Now Fiona Jane did a tutorial where she puts this on napkins and fabric, and it got. My, me thinking that it might help with my bro ties and stuff as well if I put interfacing on them so that they stay a little bit stiffer and more bow tie shaped because I do ribbon bow ties as part of my Etsy and then the last thing I grabbed Rose this one's your fault <laughs> um, 
Um, but yeah, you, you'll you know what I mean by that. By um, I grabbed this, I grabbed two of these 100 packs of die cuts with a view card stuff. I love this for albums. It's got a nice texture. It doesn't break apart easily. I only regret opening it because <laughs> it's not sealed. So I have, I got two of these for only a few dollars more than buying one would be. So as you can see, I've pretty much stuck to the not buying craft supplies. Like, as I said, I um, I put cardstock on my exceptions list. So there will be a huge cardstock haul from Craft Online as well because they had $5 cardstock again. So I'm back to paying things off on Afterpay. And then I have to be super good and sit on my hands because I have to pay off an order which has Christmas presents in it for my sister and stuff that and, and craft supplies, but they're not going to arrive anytime soon. So that is my spotlight um spend a hundred dollars get forty dollars off so i spent uh i think it was 69 dollars in total for everything um i haven't got the there's it's not even that i don't have it yet i have not been to the post office to pick up the other ones of these yet so i just wanted to get this sort of film so i can put things away and start absorbing things into my stash and that's it so let me know did you cave and buy buy stuff with the spend a hundred dollars get forty dollars off or did you behave and how are you going if you're doing a no spend because I struggle with no spends it makes me want to spend more um however this this I really now have to um sit on my hands and not do orders the I, there's only a couple of exceptions which is I might do a little bit of op shopping on, from time to time and there's a certain project I'm allowed to buy stuff for. um and that's also because people are putting money in towards that project because it is for someone so yeah I get to spend other people's money as well as mine um probably more mine but you know that's how life is anyway I will talk to you all soon my angels and devils I'm rambling it's late I haven't eaten um I've had a bit of a wonkyish day anyway remember as always you are amazing you are incredible and you truly do matter talk to you soon my angels and devils bye